Your Holiness, this University of Divinity has existed for over 100 years as a sign of hope. This hope is revealed in three aspects of our work in theological education. First, we are a unique example of the capacity for Christians to work together across our doctrinal and denominational differences. Your Holiness, as we welcome you to the university then, we share with you this mission of hope. What is this hope? It is the hope that the light of Christ will transform us and our world, that we might shine like stars to the glory of God the Father. Tonight we have in our presence the spiritual leader of 20 million Coptic Christians worldwide, His Holiness Pope Tawadros II, Pope of Alexandria and Patriarch of the See of St. Mark. Thank you, Your Holiness, for sharing your wisdom, intellectualism, and gracious conversation with us this evening, and we look forward to your address. From the start of his appointment, His Holiness Pope Tawadros II has been a great supporter of St. Athanasius College here in Melbourne, which serves as a living expression of our Coptic faith and culture and is operated under the auspices of the Diocese of Melbourne. In our efforts to impart our precious gift of the Coptic faith, we are tonight promoting the SAC Lectureship Fund, which supports two non-specific lecturers in an ongoing way. Thank you all so much for your attendance this evening and for your generosity in contributing to this fund. Again, it is my deep honor to welcome among us his Holiness Pope Tawadros II. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Your Eminence, Your Graces, and the Reverend Father, dear our sister and brother, it gives me a great honor to be with you today. It is a heavenly blessing to be together to have this wonderful opportunity. Orthodoxy has always been connected to spirituality in a world full of materialism. We recall the calling with which we were recalled, according to St. Paul, the Apostle. Our calling is to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. During this midnight praise, we say three expressions and repeated this expression along the praise. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Alleluia, praise the Lord, and Amen, so be it. These three terms contain the main component of our relations with Christ, the Lord. These three terms might present an abstract for the spirituality of our Holy Mother, the Church, and the nature of her Christian faith. It is very remarkable that during Tasbihat Nusf al-Layl, midnight praising, praise, between every two hosts praise, the most senior clergyman stands saying, Amin Alleluia Kiri Laison. If you honestly repent, if you honestly are merciful, if you honestly love, you will honestly rejoice and you will receive the crown of life. As being honest and faithful is your only way to the kingdom of the heaven. Coming to the end of my talk, I explain some aspects of our daily spiritual life in our monasteries and in our uh, churches in Egypt and all over the world. Coming to the end of my talk, I would like to heartily thank you for your presence and uh, for your attention and would like to invite you to visit our Holy Mother Church to visit our monasteries, which uh, 
from the fourth century and uh, filled with uh, hundreds of monks and hundreds of nuns and also to visit our beloved country, Egypt. May God bless all of you. Thank you. His Highness would like to present two gifts to our Chancellor and Vice-Chancellor, and these are uh, replicas of part of the stained glass window that has been installed this week in the Poro Tower.